Okay? Now that being said, communication with this drive is done through parallel port, of course. You've got your charge pump feature if you decide to use it, not required. However, when you go to hook this up, the only three leads that's required to run this drive with four axis is your e-stop and your hot lead, which would be terminal 11 and your terminal 12 lead. That's it. This drive is completely hooked up and you are then ready to use this drive with your robot, okay? Three leads gets this in a basic configuration and you're ready to go, okay? You don't require a breakout board. You don't require wiring a uh, wiring an individual drive. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's cover it real, real simple. You've got a lead, a terminal here, terminal here, terminal here, and so on and so forth, and it keeps coming down. You can see the labeling on the side of the drive, on this side. Then you'll see on this side, here's also labeling. Let me just turn it around so you can see it. And you can see these are for your motor phases. And then over here, you've got your ground, your positive voltage, standby, if you decide to hook that up. You can see every terminal block you see here with a position requires a lead. This is not optional except the standby. Other than that, every other lead needs to be wired. That means you have to wire this drive then to your breakout board, okay? In order to get this to function, in order to just get minimal functionality, that's what you have to do.